vlog. Surprise, we are moving. This is the exciting news that I have been meaning to tell you for a little while, but it's all happened very quickly and there's been a lot of different piece, moving parts in all of this that has made it hard to kind of talk about it in the vlogs, but I'm excited now to finally be able to tell you that we are moving slash have started moving already up to Auckland and so yeah this is sort of what's left of our house is just these random boxes and bits and pieces and this week we excuse me Bruno come sit here Bruno's feeling like he needs a lot of attention because everything's very upsetting for him because his whole house has moved hey yes oh yeah so this past weekend we packed up all of our belongings and loaded up the trailers and took everything up to Auckland to the new house. We're going to be living with my brother in a house that he just bought. So that's very exciting. Anyway, so we packed everything up and unloaded it all up there and I was going to vlog the entire thing but it was all just so chaotic that I didn't really get the chance to. Um, Slasher just completely forgot with how much stuff we had going on. So didn't end up actually videoing loads of that, but I'll insert the footage that I do have over this and let you see kind of like what we got up to over the weekend. <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? Exactly Cause your house is moving. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. For lunch, we're having a uh, burger bagel, aka whatever was left in our fridge after we've cleared everything out. I don't actually know how to eat this. Possible. No. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best believe The other ring of my wrist is gold Bearing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone
plan for this week is to clean the old house. So I have this long as to-do list of jobs that we need to get done in this house. So pretty much like deep cleaning the entire space. I need to wash the walls, I need to vacuum the floors, wash the windows, carpet clean, um, take all of our like hooks and bits and pieces off the walls, um, like scrub the kitchen and the bathrooms and clean out the garden a little bit. So like we have got a lot to do. So I thought I'd take you along for a cleaning vlog. <laughs> like a week in our life packing up moving out cleaning and kind of saying goodbye for now so yeah we're gonna be no longer living in our hometown but exciting new adventures await so can't wait to share all of that with you as it unfolds but for now we have got our work cut out for us so I am gonna put on a podcast and I'm going to start with cleaning the walls because I figured it made sense to start like top, top to bottom rather than cleaning the floors and like messing them up again as we go. So I'm going to start with the windows and walls. So I am going to have some like huge arms by the end of this. Uh, let's go. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue. Is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right, I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide. gosh it has been such a mission holy but here's what it's looking like so far I mean it's just an empty room we're loving I still need to take off that um, light fixture that we changed but we've got the old curtains up and we need to take down that shelf behind me but I've taken off all of the picture hooks I've like tried my best to wash the walls down cleaned all the baseboards cleaned the windows vacuumed the floors Oh, and I am tired. And then we've got this room as well that's like pretty much done. Ta-da! Empty, clean walls, clean baseboards, clean floor. Oh yeah, I also got rid of all the cobwebs, which was a little bit scary because I'm not a spider girl. <laughs> but we're feeling good. Making some progress for a couple of hours. And then now I'm going to stop and have some lunch because I am famished. And I think we'll come back later this evening to finish up some more once Dom's finished work for the day. Hello, happy Tuesday. It is the rainiest, drizzliest, most miserable gray day today. I've got very fluffy hair because I just took Bruno out for a walk in the dog park. Um, 
back at the house, as you can see. This morning I was working over at my mum's house. Um, so it's been a very productive day. I'm feeling very good. It's nice when you just make a really good dent in your to-do list and you just feel so good. <laughs> that is how I'm feeling today. Um, so on my agenda cleaning wise for this afternoon, I want to finish up this room. Dom came in last night and vacuumed the floor in here, but I still need to take down a few of the hooks that I missed because now I have a step ladder to do that. I need to scrub the baseboards in here and like scrub the walls where there's some marks where my plants were and see if I can get rid of those and then we're pretty much good for this room. This room will be done and then I want to move into the kitchen next and like vacuum out the cupboards and wipe down all the cupboards and whatnot and then we're making some real progress like we'll almost be done so that's feeling really good. Um, we're not going to talk about the outside because that's a whole other thing that we have to sort out all the like gardening stuff and also just removing things as you can see I've still got plants in here that I need to get out of here um, but the mammoth job is feeling like it's getting achievable so I'm gonna put on a podcast and get to work when we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm It is now Monday so it's quite a few days later. I was absolutely hopeless at vlogging last week. It was just such a busy week with cleaning out the old house and we were staying half the week with my mom and then half the week with Dom's parents and cleaning in between and trying to work during the day and then like cleaning at night and we were just so exhausted after all of that. And then Friday night we drove up to Auckland and brought the rest of our stuff, brought Bruno up with us and then basically just like took everything out of the cars and I spent all of Saturday just bringing things up and down stairs and putting things in their places like just trying to find homes for everything, unpacking everything from the pantry, from the kitchen from our wardrobe, from the bathroom, just all of that kind of stuff, just loads and loads of unpacking. And so the new house that we're in is a brand new build and it's a house that my brother has bought and we're gonna be staying here with him and with one other flatmate. And it's got three levels, so it's like a townhouse kind of style. Um, which meant that there were lots and lots of trips of flights of stairs that we were doing. I don't know what our step count was, but it must have been crazy because we just went up and down those stairs all day. So feeling still pretty exhausted after all of that. And yeah, we basically just took the weekend to get ourselves set up here, um, unpacking stuff and like just all the moving things, you know, like plugging in the washing machine and buying stuff that we needed, like all those last minute little bits, like a toilet brush and a shower squeegee and a soap holder. And um, we took a trip to Costco on Sunday, which was crazy. <laughs> it was absolutely packed and buzzing. So 
probably wouldn't go there again on the weekend. Um, but it was such an experience to, um, to see that. And we stocked up on loads of things, loads of cleaning supplies and just things, you know, that we know we're going to get through as well as a few little, little treats, um, as you do. So that was pretty much the weekend. And then I was going to start working today, but instead I decided that it would be a better use of my time this morning and just for the day to spend it unpacking and like getting more stuff sorted because the house was still in just such a state and I did not even have an office space at all or anything set up or a place to actually work or you know just everything still was just in a shambles and I felt like I just I'm the kind of person who when my environment is a mess I can't think straight I can't concentrate I don't operate as well so I figured I'm gonna have a much better week if I take today to get stuff set up and yeah organized so that is what I have done make sure you stick around for the vlog next week because it'll be a productive day in my life um, but for right now, I thought that to finish off this vlog, this cleaning, packing, moving vlog, I would take you on a little bit of a tour of our new home and where we're going to be staying. Because I thought that could be fun for you to see it. I'm sure you're curious. So let me do that. Okay, so this is the front door and we've got a big old fl flight of stairs right up right out the front door. Um, down here is where our flatmate will be staying and there's also the garage and there's a little deck off the back here. Um, so we've got like a nice little deck space here which will hopefully put some outdoor furniture on or some like bean bags and stuff so we can actually sit out there. And that's one of the bedrooms where our flatmate will be staying. I don't really want to show you the garage because it is where we have dumped everything. <laughs> All of our stuff is in here at the moment. Um, spare fridge, but down the back here we've got our laundry area. It's our front door and I've just popped one of my plants there to liven it up a little. And we've got the shoes and stuff. We kind of need like a bit more of a, like a coat rack or some sort of like hallway table here for just putting stuff down, but this will do in the meantime. And then I've popped my Monstera in the corner here where she's getting lots of light. She needs to be repotted. Um, and then this is the main living area. We've got Bruno chilling on the sofa there. He has had a very tough time having all of his home shifted around, but he's done very well and he's getting used to being a city dog. So we're definitely going to need to get a bigger rug for this space because as you can see, that one is just way too small for this area. But yeah, so we have the kitchen through here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Like so huge <laughs> compared to where we were. We've got our coffee machine all set up here looking very fancy and stove top the huge ovens microwave bench dishwasher oh so excited to have a dishwasher what a luxury here's the pantry um this could still use a little bit of work organizing um but not too bad, not too bad at all. And then right off the kitchen, there's a bathroom, which is like the guest bathroom. Um, pretty basic, pretty standard, nothing crazy. And then this room we're gonna use as our guest room. So we've just got a like spare bed at the moment in here. Um, there's a really nice big wardrobe, which we'll probably pop, like, just stuff for guests to use in there. But yeah, that's a nice room. It gets a little bit of sun in there, which is lovely. We don't have a dining room table yet, but when we do, it's going to go 
somewhere along here. Um, and then let me take you upstairs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we have got a little bit of like a bar cart set up here. I thought that would be fun to use this old antique, old antique table for all of the alcohol and like cocktail glasses and that kind of stuff, as well as a few plants. And I just love how that looks. It's so pretty. All right. Okay, so this is the top floor and this is where I'm gonna have my office up here. So I've just got that shelf which I used to have in the lounge in our house. And then the boys are using this middle room as their um, office because both of them will be working from home a few, couple of days a week. And they're also, as you can see, gamer boys. So they've got their gaming set up in here and they're very excited about that. Um, meanwhile, I'll be over here with my aesthetic little space. I'm loving how this is looking so far. I think that's going to be so cute. I'd like to get something to go along here as well. Some more like storage or something because it's a bit empty there. And then um, we have a room just here. That's where uh, my brother is going to be. And then across from him is where we are. Um, we are very fortunate to have the master room. Um, so it's very spacious. We sold our bedside tables, so they we need to get some new ones of those. I'm thinking putting some sort of like chest or like bench seat down here. I'd love to create like a bit of a reading nook along here. Um, and then we have a lovely walk-in wardrobe, which is, wow, just like, what a luxury. <laughs> I think our old place, the entire wardrobe was about the size of, of this just here. Like, you know, that was the entirety of our storage. So we've kind of upgraded to an insane amount of storage. Um, we haven't really like properly organized it yet, but that will be a work in progress. And there's also like storage up the top there where we've put our like suitcases and like out of season clothes. So there's just like so much space, which is unreal and then we have a beautiful bathroom so we've got two sinks which is an actual dream of mine I have always wanted two sinks just like the fanciest thing ever I think underneath here I want to get more of those like gray boxes so that we could just have like a stack of all of them for just more cleaning supplies because these drawers are not very big I've just got like everything chock full in here of like skincare makeup that sort of stuff um yeah but we've got like a beautiful huge shower and a bath which again another dream so yeah that is the tour that is our space it's absolutely unreal to be here and we i just feel so so overwhelmed and so lucky that we have this opportunity and we get to be here in such a beautiful space and that we get to live with my brother and I'm so grateful yeah so I can't wait to share more of it and more of our life here up in Auckland and share more of us settling in and finding our footing and all of the opportunities and fun that's going to be happening now that we're in a new space and we're in a new city. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this very kind of chaotic, random vlog this week. I will catch you in another vlog soon. Bye.